Getting an image to move is about as easy as getting it to load. As you can see, when we call our image in our draw function, we already have built-in parameters defining the position of our image. Like any parameter, we can define a variable and change that variable whenever we like. So, if we create a variable called x, set our image's x position to it, and then change that variable by 1 every cycle, we can create the illusion of movement. Now that we understand the basics, we can actually make our image move in all kinds of interesting ways. Say, for example, we want the image to bounce back and forth from one side of the screen to the other. We can pull this off pretty easily with just a couple of if statements. First things first, let's create a variable that will represent the direction in which our image will move. I'll call it xd for x direction. We'll say that if the value of x is ever greater than or equal to the width of our screen, xd will set itself to negative 1. Inversely, if it's ever less than or equal to 0, it will set itself to positive 1. Then, all we have to do is instead of changing x by 1 every cycle, we change it by xd. This is pretty close to what we want, but we can do a little better. Because the image draws itself from the top left corner, and thus tracks its position from there as well, it fully disappears off the screen before bouncing back. There's an easy fix for this. We can reference our image's width with image.width. Simply subtract that from our screen width, and there we go. Perfect bounce. What else can you do with movement? See if you can figure out how to make your image move vertically. Have fun!